All right, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to calculate molar mass, um, oftentimes referred to as molecular mass or formula mass. They just call it molecular mass if you're dealing with uh, covalent or molecular compounds. They call it formula mass if you're dealing with ionic compounds. But generally, everybody just calls it molar mass or find the mass. Okay. Anyway, let me show you how to do this. Let's say they give you uh, water, which is H2O. Uh, to begin, you just make a somewhat uh, I refer to as a grocery list of the atoms that you have. You have hydrogen and you have oxygen. And hydrogen, uh, you've got two of those, so you put a two here. Oxygen, you've got one of those, so you put a one. There's a one there because you don't see it. Now, hydrogen on the periodic table is 1.01. .01, and oxygen on the periodic table is 16.00. And then after that, you just multiply those together, you get 2.02, .02, and then you get 16.00. You add this up, and you get 18.02. Um, .02. Now, you're almost done. All you got to do is put grams, then H2O on it. And that's how you calculate molar mass. Now, let's do uh, one that's a little bit harder to do. Let's do one for, um, uh, let's think of one. Na C L dot uh, two H two uh, O. Okay. Now, all that you do here is you still make your same list. Uh, you make a grocery list of each atom that you have. We've got N A. We've got C L. We've got hydrogen, and we've got oxygen. Now, on sodiums, we've got one. Chlorine, we've got one. Hydrogens, you actually have four here because two times two is four. So you got four hydrogens and oxygens, you've got two because it's two times the one that's there. So you got two of those. Now, sodium, chlorine, water, and oxygen. Oxygen is 16.0. O, hydrogen is 1.01. .01. Chlorine, I'll have to look on the periodic table. Okay. I uh, do not remember it right off the top of my head. So let me get my periodic table out, which I should have done before I started this. Um, on my periodic table, uh, you'll see that chlorine is 35.45. 35.45. Sodium is 22.99. Okay. Anyway, we'll do that real quick. And that will give us 20. 2.99. That'll give us 35.45. That'll give us 4.04, .04, and that'll give us 32.00. After that, add these up, and that'll be 18. 8 carrier one. So that'll be 14. Write down 4 carrier one. Oh, well, that's 2, 6, 11, 12, and 14. Write down the 4 carrier one. That's 3, 6. Eight, nine. So if all went well, that should be correct. That should be 94.48 grams of NaCl.2H2O. Now, all that I did was uh, I did exactly what I did up here on the first one. Just did it again on the second one. Just please make sure you don't forget grams and what you were doing it for. And that's it. Alright guys, hope this helps on molar mass.